All right, welcome to the Mountain Tough off-season training program. We're excited you're here. For those of you coming for the first time, welcome to the community. We're excited to have you, and I am sure you're going to be excited to be here as well. For those of you returning athletes, welcome back. We're excited that you've decided to give another shot to move even further forward in your athletic journey. So let me take, give you a quick overview of the program before we dive into day one. And the key to understanding this program is a little different than the last program. The last program was deliberately designed to prepare you preseason to go into a really good, tough hunting season. And so we designed it very sports specific with a, with a pretty strong blast of sports specific exercises on the tail end for six weeks. This program is different. It's designed to build the optimal athlete to make you as powerful and as strong and as functional as you can be. So we're gonna build a strong foundation in this program. We'll be less sports specific and more overall athletic specific. We're gonna work mobility, we're gonna work endurance, we're gonna work strength, and we're gonna work a cardiovascular ability. We're really trying to develop you into an all-around athlete so that you can leave this program and dive right into the preseason and come out actually, for those of you who came out stronger this past year after the preseason program than ever before, we're expecting that next year you'll be even stronger still because you'll do this and start at the next level as you go into the next preseason program. So this is very exciting. I think you'll enjoy it regardless of your walk of life. Hunters, this is gonna be phenomenal for you as you go into the next preseason even stronger than you came out of the last one. So let's dive in. Day one, remember we're building a foundation so we're gonna start with a newer recruitment again the first couple weeks, in fact the first four weeks this time are going to be primarily neural, neural recruitment. We'll use very little weight these first two weeks. We'll pack on a little bit more weight in the second set of two weeks. So we're going to start with the 22s, but different than the 22s you've seen online or that some of you may have done in the past. We have a new version of the 22s focused more on the specific strength exercises we're going to be getting you to. So day one starts with a regular mountain tough workout, which you'll see the video of, and then you're gonna do band walks. Now these band walks are important, believe me. By next week, these band walks are gonna hurt almost as much as the workout does, but that's, that's deliberate. We need to hit those glutes, we need to hit those interior muscles that don't normally get hit. So the band walks are a critical part of your preparation and your overall mobility. After you're done with the band walks, you'll start the new version of the 22s. They start very similar and run very similar to the previous 22s. It starts with a half mile run. Then after your first half mile run, you come in and you start your supersets. Your first superset is of ball squats with um, release push-ups. Now a critical component to this is remember, the ball squats, as we say in the notes, we want to make sure that your backside touches the ball nice and deep and comes up. Then you're on your release push-ups, make sure you release when you go down. We want to isolate your chest, we want to utilize your chest, and we don't want you to get that preload that you get. So the way it works is you're gonna get a total number of 22 reps as you work your way down. So you'll come in and do 20 uh, ball squats, followed immediately by two release push-ups. Then you'll do 18 ball squats, four release push-ups, 16 ball squats, six release push-ups, and work your way all the way down until you're down to two ball squats and 20 release push-ups. So each set comes up to a total of 22 reps. That's that super set. So you did your first half mile run, you did the super set of the ball squats and the release push-ups, then you go back outside or on the treadmill and do another half mile run. So after your half mile run, you're gonna come back in or off the treadmill and you're gonna go into your second super set. This super set is forward lunges with barbell military press. So same sequence, 20 forward lunges followed by two military press, then 18 forward lunges, four military press, 16 forward lunges, and six military press, all the way down till you're doing two forward lunges and 20 military press. Now keep in mind with those overhead military presses, it's really important to understand, we don't want this to turn into a bench press, and a lot of folks do, because you get really tired as you start getting into those higher reps. So remember the goal. The goal is not the weight, the weight is the tool. It's the tool you use to get to your goal. So leave your ego at the door, and as you go through this, feel free to drop the weight. The 45 pound bar may work initially, but you may find you gotta, you've gotta drop that to do a smaller bar, even a curl bar if necessary, but you need to get it over your head cleanly and don't allow yourself to sacrifice your form because you wanna get that weight up for 20. So make sure you drop it because we're gonna wanna get to those higher reps with clean form 
all the way through. So that one is the forward lunges with the military press. After you're done with that, you go back out and do your half mile run and you're finished with the 22s. Once you're done with the 22s, you'll do a little bit of core. We're gonna hit core on every strength day and during the endurance day because core is a critical component we found that many of the folks are, are lacking right now. So what we wanna do is we're gonna start it relatively simple. It's gonna be three minutes of planks for you beginners and intermediates. It'll be a little longer for the elites. So beginners and intermediates, you're gonna do a minute of a front plank, followed immediately by 30 seconds on each side of side planks, and then you're gonna do another minute of a front plank. Elites, you can do a minute and a half front, a minute to each side, and then a minute and a half to the front again. And then you're done with day one. Welcome to the program. Welcome back for those of you returning. I'm excited to see you tomorrow and see how you feel. Have a great workout, Mountain Tuffers. We'll see you tomorrow.